Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Well, that's weird. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kevin here, and it's been a while. <laughs> I say this every single video now, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, but it has actually been a while. Uh, work, basically, I started a new job, um, and I was working. Do you know what? Let's, let's pull over and talk. Let's pull over. Let's fucking pull over and talk. I started a new job. It's a shift job, um, so I'm gonna have more days off um, than my last full time job, uh, which is good, so I can make more videos. Uh, but the only thing was I was training um, and I had to work five days a week and I was tired and basically I had no time to make a video in a month uh, which it sucks balls like actual balls um, but with the shift work now we should be able to make a lot more videos which is good react to a few things in there react to a few things uh, just quickly click through my tune stop it if you want to stop it um, but yeah this is for if you don't have a clutch and we are in the AE86 as you can see right here uh, very very nice car the only problem is it's quite low powered and without a clutch it is hard to initiate should we say so you got to use a lot of weight um, so uh, let's actually 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 where is the suspension let's make this a little bit softer oh my god didn't expect it to go down that much. Um, yeah, let's take it. Let's take it down in the rear as well. So I just want to get the body rate, body weight, uh, transition a little bit more. Helps me because I don't have a clutch. But anyway, the main topic of this. I'm going out the wrong way. Um, <laughs> the main topic of this. Forza Horizon 3. It was announced at E3, which was epic. Um, that event looked. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Went a bit too hot there. Uh, but that event looked absolutely insane. It looks crazy. Like the insides of it. There's like all the booze and buildings and it looked crazy. Um, but Forza Horizon 3. Alright, let's just let's stop let's stop going off on a tangent and actually talk about what I came here to talk about. So Forza Horizon 3. Let's say it again, Forza Horizon 3. Okay, it's in my head. That game is going to get absolutely rinsed. Um, Xbox One haven't played a, a racing game on it since Forza Horizon 2. I haven't played, well I played Forza 6 until I realised that it was shit. Um, for drifting that is. Like, grip racing, you're fine. You can just play that game. It was fun to grip race on. But for me who loves drifting, I wanted to get cars sideways and the fact that they fucked up the wheel so bad and they didn't even try to fix it. So you've got a 300 pound wheel. Oh, I don't care, we've already sold the game. I don't want to make any changes to it. Um, so you have to basically run 270 degrees on your wheel, which just aids. So I'm just not buying a 900 degree wheel to drift 270 degrees on it. Who do you think I am? Um, but yeah, they just didn't even try to fix it, which I thought was a bit shitty by turn 10. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm, I'm putting it out there. That was shitty. Um, Obviously, grip racing, the wheel's perfect, like, you just run whatever degrees you want, and grip racing is perfect, but for the drifters, like, what's the point? They just didn't even see the point of trying to change the wheel, it's just, that pissed me off. So, I haven't played a game, a racing game, on Xbox One, since Forza Horizon 2, shit, I came in a bit too hot then. Um, I haven't played one since Forza Horizon 2. Which is a long time to say I haven't drifted on the Xbox One, but when you've got games like Assetto Corsa and this on PC, why, why, why would I spend my time drifting on Forza Six where you have to use 270 degrees? It doesn't make sense, right? You know, can you just come on games like this and it's just basically real life? It's a good simulator. And you can drift cars how you want to, but Forza Horizon Two, the physics in it actually were actually quite good um, compared to like Assetto Corsa now. It wasn't actually that much different, which is crazy to think it was made more arcadey than like Forza Horizon 5, uh, Forza 5 and Forza 6. It's more like an arcadey kind of game, but the physics were a hundred times better. It doesn't make sense. And they got to Forza 6 and it's like, yeah, duh. <laughs> um, but it's crazy. Um, a lot of people have different views on Forza 6 and the drifting and stuff. Uh, obviously a lot of people use controller so it's fine for them but I'm not going to use controller when I've got a 300 pound wheel here What's, why, why would why would I waste time on controller on that game there's no point even wasting 
Um, and obviously they don't do anything to kind of help the drifters at all, so we wasn't going to get anything special from it, so it's all good, it's all good. I, it's just basically ranting, isn't it? I was going to talk about Forza Horizon 3, but this just turned into a rant session. Rant, rant, rant. But yeah, the memories for Forza Horizon 2 are too much. Uh, the amount of time I spent on that game, I, I just don't even know. Like, every time I got home from work, turn the Xbox on, Forza Horizon 2, wheel, drift, tandems. Sorted. That was life. And then, Forza Horizon 3, I hope they're not going to fuck up the physics so bad. Um, watching a few people's videos, like Slap Train went to E3 as well. Oh my god, I don't know what I was doing there, I just wasn't even looking at the screen. Um, Slap Train went to E3, a few people went to E3 as well, I was watching a few of their videos, and they said it feels pretty good. Um, so that's good signs. Uh, I don't know if they were sliding or anything. Uh, I didn't watch them that in depth. I just wanted to see the reviews of the game first off. Um, obviously we have, like, we'll, might have a demo come out and we can test it on there and stuff, but there's normally not too much wheel support on demos, so I'm not expecting a lot from that. Uh, but as long as they just keep the physics the same as Forza Horizon 2, I will be happy. And that is saying something, because obviously that was made as a more arcadey game, but the drifting was it, was... it felt like this. It felt quite literally like this game. And this is meant to be one of the best simulators right now, instead of like half to lift for speed. And so, they were good physics. I really liked the physics of Forza Horizon 2. The wheel worked. And it was pure, pure fun. It was a game where you could just jump in a lobby with all your drifting friends. There was different sections, there was different everything. And it looked insane. And looking at Forza Horizon 3 as well, on like a few of the videos, a lot of off-roading. Um, which I used to really like off-roading. I used to go online in like the multiplayer hoppers and stuff. Uh, where you had to race to those, um, race to the, the point. They were fun because you just used to run like a Subaru or like a Mitsubishi Evo four wheel drive and just tear it across like the through the trees and shit. And fucking that was epic. I used to love that. Um, so yeah, seeing as there's more off roading, I think there's more off road kind of cars like the uh, what do you call it? Is it the free wheelbase? Like the free what do they call it? That is gonna bug me. So I just had to check my phone. Um, but yeah, they can they can fuck up this game if they want to, but I don't think they can because a lot they must realise that there was a lot of drifters in Forza Horizon 2. They have to realise it. Surely, every lobby you went into, you just look at the docks. There was just people everywhere, They're just drifting. It's like they gotta realise it. That game was made for cruising. That was made for drifting. Uh, grip racing, not so. But off roading, yeah. It's kind of They've got Forza 6 here, just for the grip racers, and then they can expand for everyone else in Forza Horizon 3. They can quite literally off-roading, drifters, fucking people who like to cruise and show off their cars. They could have everything in it. If they concentrate on grip, uh, grip racing again, which they're going to do, because it's Forza, Forza and they're going to they're going to concentrate on the grip, uh, but they've got to take the drifting and all these other bits into the into the aspects of it. Come on, we just want one game where you concentrate on drifting for fuck's sake, please. Or someone out there just make a game for drifting, like please, fucking please. Ah, oh, I'm getting so mad that I'm drifting so shit. Oh, this car's nice though. That's one thing I will say. The car's cheering me up. AE86 tearing around here. We got someone join the game called 2J. 2J Z. But yeah, that's really my thoughts on Forza at the moment. Forza Horizon and Forza in general, really. Uh, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on it as well. What you want to expect from it. Uh, what your what you want in the game. Uh, that could be a good thing. Um, if you all leave your comments with what you want to see in the game. Um, what you want to, what cars you want to see, stuff like that, and we can make a, a series on what you want to see, and we can tweet at Turn 10. We can do that. We can do that. See, isn't an outlet towards Turn 10 because they have watched my videos before, they have replied to me before, so we can, we can, 
we can go at them. Pretty much I have gone at them in this video, they have pretty much fucked them up. Um, but, <laughs> but all good, so yeah, leave a comment below what you want to see in Forza Horizon 3, uh, what physics you want to see and stuff like that. I know it's a bit too late because I pretty much made the game, <laughs> but they can, they can still make changes for me, come on. I just want to see them concentrate on our strifters, please. They know. They, they can just go back and watch all my Forza Horizon 2 videos. I made a lot of videos on that game. They can just go back. Just watch them. Watch how many views they got. Watch how many people are in the lobbies drifting. Watch watch everything. There was such a big drifting community and they've lost that on Forza 6. They have lost that hugely. Obviously you've got the people who have stuck with it with the controller. But come on. They have lost that community and no one can go against that they've lost the drifting community yet. Oh, Forza 4. Oh my days! The community was huge. You used to have those player owned lobbies. The whole list of them were just drifters. Like, that was probably the best game in terms of a drifting community. Forza 4 was the peak. Um, it went to Forza Horizon 2, and they stayed around. A lot of people didn't like the arcadey feel to it, and so they just stayed on Forza, um, Forza 4. But for Forza Horizon 2, the drifters were still there. And then came the next game Forza fucking 6. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I just. Compared to what it was, it's gone. And surely they can see that they lost a lot of people in it, so. That's my thoughts on the game. It was more of a random fucking reviewing the fact that Forza Horizon 3 were coming out. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below as well. It would be good to read them, good to reply and get a discussion in the comments. Everyone loves a good discussion. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time.